Hey y'all, it's Vicki and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day and you've had a great week since you were with me before. Of course, if this is your first time here, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about May Lindstrom's Honey Mud Mask. This is a mask that I asked you in a car vlog or sometime or another if you wanted me to review it for you because it is pricey and I had several to say yes. So this is me, I'm home from work and I'm going to go wash my face and then I will come back and I'll apply the mask here on camera and let you see what it looks like. And I'll try to describe to you as best I can how it feels, what it smells like, and my thoughts on if it's worth the price of 90 bucks. So just wait right here and I'll be right back. <music> Yes, I know I've changed quite a bit. <laughs> okay, here is what the mask looks like. Of course, I, it's it gets dirty and I didn't wipe it off. But you open it up and that's what it looks like. It looks just like just a, almost a cup of dirt, I guess. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this, this is a Real Techniques some kind of brush but I'm gonna use that to apply it now she shows on the website of her she says what she does is she takes she says a blueberry size and puts it on the back of her hand or or either in the palm of her hand then rubs her hands together and applies it that way but I always do it with a brush now on my eyelids I have applied the Egyptian magic cream on my eyelids just I don't know, I like to suck my eyelids in that sometimes. And I'll sleep in it sometimes on my eyelids, so. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the scent. Now, I know that this scent is probably not going to be for everybody, but for me, I find it relaxing. And when I smell this, I think of me walking into a spa, and I think of the spa in Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> um, and one of the, it's a romantic inn there. I can't think of the name of it right the now. The Grove Park Inn. Me, I'll let you know. But I'll list it below so you'll know. I did a story on it, a ghost story on it. It's haunted. But I just apply it this way. And I'll come back. And I'll pick up some more. Do the other cheek. And I know... You know, depending on what you, how much you want to use, this might be too much or it might not be enough. I think that's all in how the user wants to use it. Now this scent is wintergreen. There's some cacao extract in there. Some orange essential oils, myrrh frankincense so there's quite a few essential oils in there so if you have issues with essential oils then I don't recommend it I don't you would think I did because I do have acne almost ro rosacea top skin reactions at times but this has never bothered me I don't think any product with essential oils has ever bothered me that I can remember. But I know that some dermatologists just don't like them. But you just have to see what works for you. Now, I didn't tell you what I cleanse my skin with, but I cleanse my skin with the Peaches Skin Care, the classic face cleanser. I started off with the Flawless Exfoliator. And if you've not seen that video, I'll have it listed below. And I'm gonna take it down my neck, of course. And I may have to get just a little bit more out. Because when you start doing your neck and decollete area, you use a lot more. I take it behind my ears. I'll get just a little bit more out. And I could take it, I, it's a habit that I have to take it to my <laughs> just a habit I 
Now, over time, what this does is it makes your skin hold moisture better. It will shrink your pores. I mean, I'm not going to say it's shrink. I guess I shouldn't say that. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't shrink them. It doesn't make them go away. It just makes them less noticeable. I do have large pores. I do have acne scarring from when I was a teenager in my 20s. But I can tell you right now, my skin is in much better shape now than it ever was in my 20s and 30s. And probably 40s. It's probably in the best shape it's ever been as far as texture and just looking better. Okay, I'm going to stop. And so I'm going to read to you because I know you love to be read to. <laughs> and you can leave this on as long as you want to. I mean, she has said you could leave it up to an hour. I've heard of people actually sleeping in it. I don't think I could sleep in it because it would get on everything. But um, I think that it's something you could leave on as long as you wanted to and then take it off. I leave it on. I take a bath at night. So that's normally how long I leave it on. 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, three times a week. Now, you can use this as a cleanser if you wanted to use it as a cleanser. I can't afford to use it as a cleanser because, <laughs> as I said, it's $90. So, I'm going to read to you what she says here, and then we'll go from there. A very special form of salicylic acid extracted from wintergreen leaves enhances the skin's natural shedding process to free dead cells, both on the surface and in the pore lining, releasing the accumulation of environmental debris makeup and sunscreen that mixes with your natural oils to build up and build up tissue. It is normal with acid exfoliation to experience tingling and temporary pinking of the skin. I, I never have gotten any tingling from this. Never. Never, ever, ever. Yes, I get pinking, but as anything, it, when I put on my skin and I take it off, I get pink red skin. It's just my normal skin tone. With an increase of heat and blood flow, a fresh oxygen rushes to your cells. You will see the pinking and maybe some tingle. This is a good thing and the key to the magic ahead. Not everyone will experience the sensation of the flush of color, but many of you will. Don't be nervous. Get excited. This decadent formula is designed to be non-stripping, respecting and preserving your delicate acid mantle, microbiome, and pH levels. The result reveal a revitalized complexion that is plush, clear, and breathtakingly soft. And I will agree with that. Your skin is very, very soft after this mask. And it will become even softer as time goes on. Now, as I said, we're going to talk about the scent. I smell the wintergreen. I smell almost like, I wanted to say at first it was lemongrass, but I think it's just the mixture of the essential oils together. I feel like I'm in a spa, you know, getting a facial. I have never, you know, I don't go to spas to get massages. That's a long story. I don't like strangers touching me. So I only go and get, I will go get a pedicure occasionally and we'll go get a facial occasionally. I do not have any, anything else done to my skin. I don't have Botox, fillers, anything like that. No invasion, no knife, nothing. I'm just me. I'm 61 years old, in case you didn't know that. And this is just me. So what I'm going to do is I'll come back with this rinsed off. I'm going to go and do a couple of things and keep it on about 15 minutes. And then I will let you see the results and then tell you my final thoughts on if I think this is worth the price. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes, and I've got some things I need to do, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Um, I just take a washcloth. I'm usually at the sink, of course, and I just start wiping, and I'm going to use my left hand because sometimes I might rub too hard with my right. Um, this mask is most likely the best mask I've ever used, to be honest. I will most likely repurchase. 
Now I did buy me some Manuka honey. Now this just has regular raw honey in it. It does not have Manuka honey in it. Now I understand Manuka honey is supposed to be better than just your raw local honey. So I did purchase some Manuka honey and I'm gonna make my own mask. And I will list a video below of one that if you want to try it now i've not tried it yet i i probably will maybe over the weekend but of course it would be more economical to make your own of course the recipe that i'll share with you is from lisa of peaches skincare she doesn't use the essential oils with it i'm sure you could if you wanted to if you had essential oils but she just uses some aspirin and then the Manuka honey. Now, I found my Manuka honey at Marshall's. I don't know if it's the best Manuka honey ever. It's from New Zealand. That's where it's got to be from. So, I'm hoping it'll work. So, that would be more a more economical way to go if you want a honey mask. I've also tried the mask from Pharmacy Beauty. The honey mask which i do enjoy but it is nothing like this mask i mean i'll just be real with you it's it's a good mask don't get me wrong it's another budgeted way to go <laughs> but this one it just the overall feeling that it gives you of being like you're in a luxury spa and the results you get at the end you just can't compare so now Is it worth the money? Of course, I can't answer that for you. I will say that if May Lindstrom or Beautylish did not offer afterpay, which is where you divide the cost into four payments every two weeks, I don't know I would buy it. So there goes that. To say that I would shell out $90 every, let's say, I, okay, I bought this at the beginning of January, so, and I'm probably halfway through, so you're going to use, if you use it like you should, you're going to go through it in about 90 days, maybe 120 days. So, I just don't know that I would buy it to keep it in my arsenal all the time if there wasn't afterpay. Now, will I repurchase? Most likely, yes, I will. I enjoy it that much. I just enjoy the feeling and just how my skin feels afterwards. And, you know, I've just noticed over time, and this is the product I've been using the longest. I just notice a difference the next day after I've let it sit on my face. And when I wake up in the morning, my skin looks, you know, just more... It's not dry looking like it is sometimes. And, you know, that's just, I just think it does, it does something. I don't think it's in my head. And, I mean, I enjoy using it with peaches. Now, I could never afford all of my Lindstrom skincare. I mean, that's way out of my league. Would I, if I could, I might. I don't know. I've never, I, did, I have tried the Blue Cocoon, but it was a long time ago, and I don't remember it really doing that much for me. Maybe I didn't know what I was using, didn't know what I was doing, you know. So, that's the only other thing. Now, you do get two samples if you order from May, so that is a plus, too. You, can, you get to choose your samples, and it came pretty fast, packaged nicely. It's she has on their package with love and you know it's made in small batches so that is a big plus not saying anything else is not made in small batches i don't know but the only thing i hesitate about this is that the scent i know so many of you are afraid of scents you're afraid of any kind of scent but just like i say you imagine going going into a health food store and they're they have on the um they're burning oils or, you know, you have that smell. That's what I smell. 
I don't smell any lavender. There's no lavender in there. So what I'm smelling is, you know, the wintergreen and I honestly think the orange and, you know, I guess the honey's in there just a little bit, but you really don't smell the honey. I mean, it is like pudding. It's like a marshmallowy texture when you're stirring it up. You, you know, it's like you're making fudge. <laughs> so I highly recommend it if you want to take the splurge and buy it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's just, I'm just telling you the fragrance is there and some of you will like it and some of you won't. So I wish I could tell you something that smells exactly like it, but I can't off the top of my head. I just, I don't know. I don't have that. I don't have that instinct in me to be able to tell you exactly what something smells like, but it's just, it's different and I just enjoy it. So if you have any questions that I didn't answer, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer them as best I can. There's a couple of other reviews out there. I know Reagan that does a lot of clean beauty. She has reviewed it and did a good review. So you might want to watch her review also before you take the splurge because it is, you know, it is a luxury piece. And, you know, this is about the most luxury I will go. I won't go over $100 for something. I just won't. But that's me. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again if this is your first time here. Of course, if you've been here with me, you know, for a while, that's great. And hopefully I'll see you on Friday with my next video. We'll talk about new stuff. We've got a lot to talk about already. So see you then. Bye. Love you. Bye.